<laughs> well, did our lips shut to stop the nagging? Oh, episode number thirty-nine. Are we live, Matt Brown? Yeah, we are. Hey, uh, no. Sorry, sorry. Episode number sorry thirty-nine. This is the second last episode of the whole of season four. Next week's episode will be the live show, and where we will pick the comment winners. Well, you'll see the conclusion of the black book and you'll see us doing our first live show if you can't come to the show. That's crazy. Yeah. Mother. Mother? We've had a big week, man. Holy shit. Some shit's been shitting off, man. Last week, right, we fucking... We're like, we filmed a video where a uh, whipper snip in my leg and then we're like, oh, fuck. Couldn't be fucked filming another painful video. And then there's a speed camera nearby the house. So we're like, fucking, let's go put some signs up. And just fuck with some motorists so we're sitting there and we're Mike I had the first sign at the front and we put a sign in the middle and then Michael's standing there with a sorry sign and um, we were filming the cars going past honking but it was just like it was shit it was shit we were just like this is gonna look shit if it's just us filming because we couldn't selfie film because the cars were honking before they were in frame because it was it's the driving towards us you know what I mean so we're like fuck it James you drive past point of view from the driver's side and James pretended to be a motorist driving past us reading the signs for the first time and then we posted it 30 second clip and it's just gone fucking nuts bananas yeah we've been getting roasted on the daily mail on news.com the career mail it's just a dramatic reenactment and people are saying the motorists were so angry it's like that's fucking james come (laughs) we even say when we post it dramatic reenactment this is but still that is what we want that's what we were hoping the people driving past would be doing you guys basically just fooled the media well, yeah, we wanted well, to give people they let them speeding be fines. Fooled. Yeah, we were going to try and trick people into getting speeding fines by Which seems slowing evil, down and then speeding up. But maybe it's, it's actually, it depends how you're looking at it. We're trying to help the government get revenue to help our economy. Yeah, so we can buy more like um, oh, yeah, well, that's, medicines and shit to give thing. people. Yeah, yeah we're well, f- well, forcing them to pay fines. Which um, is, seems to be something. Yeah. So, so the people. That's what the outcome was. What we wanted from the public, but obviously we weren't expecting someone to drive past and film it. So we had to find another way to film it. So we got James to do it. So that that video is a dramatic reenactment. A dramatic reenactment. Okay. And it's helping the economy. Like it's the, what we were doing. The stunt itself was real. Like we were out there for like half an hour, but we couldn't film it like that. So we just had to get James to film it as he drove past. I hope that clears that up because a lot of people are like, oh, what the fuck? I've seen that guy in their videos. Yeah, we know. Yeah. We wouldn't have used James if, you know, that's like, obvious, yeah. obviously. Well, as I said, it literally is to help the government. Yeah. All right. You guys need to, you, okay, video's done. What the fuck happened on the weekend? Oh, man. What did you guys do? We had Mon's 30th on the weekend and it turned into one of the most wild nights that I've ever been a part of for a very long time. Yeah, it's been, I'd say wildest for like a year, two years, but like not in line. And it was like, all right, throughout, but then like come 5 a.m., man, things just got so messy. And this is what I mean about how fun kick-ons is because it's where the weirdest shit happens and it's acceptable. Apart from like obviously the next day. What do you mean? The next day was so cringe. Like all the (laughs) so many embarrassing things springing to mind. Oh man, (laughs) mum's family was there. It's just like fucking hell. Oh, well, okay. I guess it was, there were ups and downs about it. It was literally like a roller coaster. There were, there were moments where we were ripping ticks out of men's heads. Yeah. That was one of the... One of the uh, Mon's family had like a tick in his head oh. we found in the middle of the I, morning. This is what's crazy. I Tables left. were broken. Yeah, I left and and the, the ho- everyone was in a circle. Everyone was talking, having a good time. I was like, I'll see you later. And, um, and it just seemed such a happy little beautiful environment. And then when I came back the next morning, because <laughs> I didn't stay the night, I went somewhere else, but we'll get to that later. Um, yeah, I came back. And like the floors were destroyed and the tables were broken and the ping pong table is flattened. 
Yeah, Michael and- fully just with his knees jumped onto the ping pong table, went straight through it. The fucking floors were fucked. There was like, tables full of food that were being leapt onto. Coffee cups are in the pool. The fucking oh really? There's yeah. a pool. The pool fence was broken. Someone launched one of the dining room chairs into the neighbor's yard, and it was so like embarrassing because he was out. Oh, the whoa! Old- I didn't remember that one. You guys weren't there. Oh, so it wasn't me. It was probably you. Oh, but I didn't. I wasn't here to see it. So but- he saw it. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, chair, no, he didn't yeah. see the chair. Oh, saw, the chair good. was there, but he saw me having to climb over the fence. Oh, that's fine. That's normal. But he was like, he was like, oh, the old man. He's like, oh, he waved, and I was like, oh, hey, I was just grabbing my chair. A chair's a chair, and launched into your hut yard. <laughs> yeah, things got out <laughs> yeah, of I hand. Remember you throwing it? Actually, I think that was at the very end. <laughs> I remember that. Eh? <laughs> you think you just made anyway, me? Anyway, we got to me and you got to bed at like eight, nine a.m. And then that next day, that Sunday, like, I cannot begin to describe that hangover. <laughs> I was in, I was, it was in bed until like 7 p.m. And just being conscious was like an 8 out of 10 pain, <sighs> relentlessly. Like it was fucking unbearable. So, so to, to pay oh. this, we the, we had a uh, we hired all this uh, all these seats and these tables from a from a higher place, and the man came to pick up all the gear, and he brought his young son, and his young son was like really excited to meet Marty. <laughs> And then like, he's like, were you like, like twisted? Like yeah, you- dude, I was like, it was like 6 p.m. though. It's like, it's like, I shouldn't be in bed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then like, I just get out, still wearing the same clothes from the night before, just real fuck looking, reeking of like gross alcohol. And your Stand eyes in. are all like black. <laughs> I'd love to see that photo. Oh, that would be, man. man I had another cringe day too. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> Like go to Amber's mum's birthday party with the like whole family there. Too. I had no sleep and get there at like 10 a.m. Just so fucked. I, can't, I was like, oh. Amber, I should stay home. She's like, no, you're coming. I was like, okay. I ended up just sleeping on the, the lounge room floor. In front of them all. And they're all just watching <laughs> me sleep. Like that's not okay really, right? Oh, but well, like they, I, I love them and they were just accepting of it, I think, I hope. And we're, it's all good, but like, fuck. When I got here, it was like 9, 9 a.m. Or, or something like that. And, and Amber was here. And I went, oh, where's Mike with you? He's in the van. Oh, and she goes, go say hello to him. I went, all right. I went over to the van. <laughs> and I could just hear Limp Biscuit pumping from the van. <laughs> I've opened up the door and he's just singing Limp Biscuit to himself. <laughs> in the van. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, I have to deal with this and distract my head some way. So I just put Spotify on and just sort of sat there. You just shook oh, my hand. And didn't you giggled. have a fucking hangover? How did you deal with that? Oh. I was out cold. I could. Well, that's the thing. It was still like just so because I was on such adrenaline still from just the amount of shit we broke. Like going through the tables, I was still oh, so awake. Fuck me, dude. It's so so cringe like I was just on this rush in it, front of a family. That is so fucked. Anyway. Oh, but like it was, <sighs> it was cheered on at, at the time. Yeah, at the time, of <laughs> course, because we were all just. Of fucking course. Beyond saving. Oh, man. I didn't, it doesn't even register in my mind, oh, who might own these things? Like, <laughs> that does not cross my mind. I know, yeah. So sorry for that. We what can't we broke. get like that anymore. That's just like so fucked. My fruit bowl's missing. I have a memory <laughs> of like, we're just leaning on the pool fence and you just start going back and forth. Stop. Oh, stop. Yeah, stop. So stop. we just figured out who broke the pool fence. Yeah, I knew, we knew well, that already. Yeah, no one that. told me. You oh, man. It. There was. <laughs> And I'm like, no, no. I was like, nah, it's just let it go. And then I giggled. <laughs> oh, fuck, <laughs> man. Ironically, we oh. now have an inspection at the house too. Yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. It's not nah, to like shit, you're right. Yeah, right. We just got to like pressure clean the deck and yeah, then we're and we done. We just got to do get James to get the drill out. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, so a wild weekend and it's Tuesday now. We're filming episode 39 and we are still like, I'm like, I'm oh. still reeling from this night. Like my, yesterday was fucked and today even so sluggish, so depressed, so fucked. It's been really difficult to rebound from this. And we have the live show in three days, come. It's yeah, the come downs are last longer and longer. It's because we went so hard though. Yeah. But remember, you haven't been hitting it hard. Yeah, exactly. Not to that mention too. you took a few weeks off everything. Oh, oh man it's alright oh anyway yeah so um, fucking be careful partying out there boys you fucking <laughs> always come to regret it can't t- <laughs> what else do we need to talk about oh yeah Spotify peeps 
you may have noticed that in a lot of our episodes, you might be hearing an ad at the beginning and an ad at the end, and then maybe in the, an ad in the middle somewhere as well. That's because we got approved for like a, the Spotify ad thing. So we've just been, uh, uh, Spotify's put some ads in our uh, podcast. Isn't that great news, everyone? That's mm. awesome news. Until they, fr- I mm. read the rules, they, they sent like all the Spotify platform rules. We literally break every single one. Oh, oh, so it's really? uh, that's only a matter of time until they see this Figure that out. and then they'll probably demonetize <laughs> what in hell dude surely though surely <laughs> oh somebody God. reviewed us before going hey let's that's what that's what i'd like to think too but as if someone's going to sit there for an hour and just listen to every single podcast before they just look at the numbers they look oh yeah heaps of five star reviews they got a good listener base yes Maybe. And then worry about it later. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, we're Guaranteed. screwed. We're screwed. So but it's not, it's, it's not a bad thing. It just means that we pro- will just be making a little bit of money from Spotify listens now. Which is nice. Up until the f- when they find out who we really are deep down, cunt. <laughs> Maybe we should... <laughs> 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 the... Um, <laughs> You may have noticed last week's episode, the mother segment was cancelled. Um, yeah, they've deemed some of our, um, some of your confessions to be a bit too much. So we've changed it, all right? And we've changed it to two lies, one truth. And we got you guys to DM in your phone numbers. So we're going to call you. And if you can guess which one is the truth, then you get $500, just like that, Holy live on the shit. podcast. So yeah. if you've listened to most of the podcasts, you'll know most of the story. Yeah, because it's all podcast story related shit. Oh wow! Yeah, dude, it's and, exciting. And you don't know what your what yours is yet. Yours could be yeah, the truth today. Yours be could be the lie. Fucked. Yeah, but man. We'll see. All right. So that's exciting. So that's what we're starting up. We got fucking prank call. We got black book. We don't have Bachelor Brown this week. We don't have a guest this week. We're all good. With that. We're all good with that. We don't have a guest this week. But fucking hey, it's the episode before. The finale. So but we're, we're here. We're, we're trying to organize that at the moment. That's priority number one, brother. To each other. So we've just had to quickly come together and film episode 39. So episode 39 is a bit of a fucking dumb bitch cunt. All right, guys. It is time for our sponsors. A word from our sponsors. Hey. <laughs> oh, this one. It's not this yet, is it? No, no, it is. It is. Okay, it is. good. Hey, what's going on, man? Have have you have you made dumb decisions before that have left you feeling terrible? Yes. Are you worried about your health as you get older? Do you notice your body deteriorating faster and faster and taking longer to recover than the glory days of the early twenties? Well, shut up, Athletic Greens. Dot com slash fully actual okay athletic greens is like 75 nutrients and supplements all put together by this dude who was really really sick and then he got really really healthy all right this is proven this shit michael and i have started taking it all right now let me tell you after our weekend that party we had on saturday I, I, AG1, the Athletic Greens, was the only thing I had on that Sunday at the very end of my hangover. And I guarantee you, it works. All right. We always feel a lot better in the mornings when we have it. We have it on an empty stomach, first thing in the morning, and it does make us feel better. That is not a lie. That is 100% the truth. Have you tried it yet, Matt? Mm-hmm. I've been having it every twice. James Lee made me one. Yeah, exactly. It's quite Good. Not, yeah, it, it is an energy. The taste is actually nice. It is. And the reason Michael and I are so hell-bent on taking this is because we know of the damage that we have caused to our bodies and minds over the last 15 years of life, all right? It's extensive. It's significant. At least with AG1, you can help take some of that away. You help, you re, you're regrowing. You're regrowing yourself. And that's science, man. Look at all the bruises on him. We need this shit. All right, and so do you. So athleticgreens.com slash fully actual and you get a free vitamin D and five travel packs. Boom, for free. How's that? It's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good, Matt. That is very fucking good. Mm, And not the number three. So it's a subscription, all right? A monthly fee. 
you, that you pay and then you get your, your stock of AG1 every single month. And Michael and I, I, I'm going to be on this shit for the rest of my life. I am. Because they constantly they redo the formula of the more shit that they find out. So it's constantly evolving with health. It's very good. If, if you're going to take any kind of vitamin supplements, take this shit. All that stuff in the tablets, it just goes straight through you. This soaks in. Did you just take another scoop? It's so good. Like, it literally tastes like, I don't know, a anyway, nice guys, flavored drink. Sorry. Do us a favor. Get your athletic greens. Link is in the description. Go there right now. Fully actual. Okay. Athleticgreens.com slash fully actual. <laughs> That was hot. And take control of your health. Yeah, it's good to be better. It's like being more B. All right, guys. <clears throat> no more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> Are you listening at home? Good. Because I'm here to tell you that I've had a gut full of your shit. I am beyond disappointed in you. You've heard this spiel. Over and over again And you still choose To not even look At manscaped.com Just go to the website Go there I guarantee you they're going to have some shit That you haven't heard of before That can help you That can lift you out of the darkness And lift you up to love and light And getting your balls sucked clean cunt. Don't you want your balls sucked clean Buy their ball shaver raver, their ball reviver, their ball swipes and get sucked off in a tree. <laughs> oh, I just want to suck myself off my balls. I'm so smooth and shiny after Manscapes. And use our discount code, fully actual 20 for 20% off. Get your shit sorted, man. <laughs> the preserver. The Preserver? <laughs> They've got the, the lawnmower. They're in Woolworths now. Obviously, they're good. Woolworths isn't going to have some shit in it, is it? It's all good. Go to Woolies. <laughs> Manscaped.com slash fully actual. Yeah. Also for women. Yeah, heaps of women. Mm. Mostly. It's mostly for women. Body wash. It's so, actually, I'm going to go and say it. It is only for women. It is women. <laughs> It is woman. So a woman listeners, manscaped.com, use our discount code fully actual 20 and get your balls plume. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fuck. Moving on. That was two and. Whoa! I would whoa. love to be a fly on the wall when the manscape <laughs> yeah. person listens. To yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're telling everyone it's for women. <laughs> <laughs> Just for one. <laughs> it's Just getting worse, one. Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the last time we do them. We get fired. <laughs> they said you could get sucked off in a tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my anyway, god. Anyway, let's have a fucking bong break, cunt, and come back strong. back we were just discussing in between weed that we um were a bit worried about the jokes we we're making on the website um recently we did like a can women really multitask video the other day oh you did not and no no <laughs> which gender can multitask oh, see, that's better yeah to yeah and i was the woman and it, you know we we're just mucking around but anyway you'll see so our website Link into the description. Twenty-one day free trial. Um, it's how we fund everything here, bro. Two hundred and twenty videos of the craziest shit you've ever seen. What's out on there right now? <sighs> what comes out this Sunday? Oh, um, either pressure pool or torture chess. Both fucked. Anyway, moving so, on. It's time for on this day. day. And, and this is and this is where Matt. He comes in, right, usually on some sort of 
methamphetamine. Oh, I do. And he not. researches a I- day in history <laughs> <laughs> that happened today. Isn't yeah, that right? That's correct. Well, on this well day. not on meth though, Mum. Uh, I don't know, man. Is this? Will you still do it for a K? Yeah, <laughs> you'll do it on the podcast live. I bet. <sighs> if we gave you twenty grand on, at the podcast finale, would you do a hit of meth, twenty thousand dollars? Yes, in, really. Yep. Sold live in front live of everyone. Forever, I'll hit one hit of meth for twenty K live. Fuck, really? We should start a GoFundMe. Wow. <laughs> oh, imagine writing that GoFundMe. They gotta approve it, don't they? What about ten? No, 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 now you've lowered it. Yeah, you've now you've lowered it. I and you know what? Saying, I'm just saying. You've lowered your standards. Well, let's so get you still won't do a Let's get ten K K cash out. Yeah, if we had ten K. Oh fuck that'd be tempting. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> well, we're, we're fucking getting a bit nervous for the live show, hey I boys. It's so close. I, I think what we're going to be fine. We've yeah, done this yeah, before. I know. I know. In it's going to be funny oh, with man. an audience. It's going to be so strange. Like, just imagine two hundred people there right now. <laughs> oh no! You just got me yeah, nervous. It's like fuck. I don't know what I like, to do. I'm going to be so shy. I won't maybe be able to we make should eye put like the walls there. <laughs> so we can't see him. Oi, let's just do it here, but we'll keep him there. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, on this day, on this day in 1988, John Howard was a slug. He was found in a damp bush nibbling on some leaves by his now wife. She collected him and kept him, him in an aquarium. Over the coming days, they bonded. She let John the slug crawl all over her body. One thing led to another, and things turned sexual. John's wife enjoyed the sensation of slug John circling her areolas. She leant down and kissed him, turning him him into an Australian version of a prince, a prime minister. (laughs) (laughs) So ladies, if you see any slugs out there, give them a kiss. It could be the next prime minister. (laughs) I'm Matt Brown, and I would also like to point out that my dick is a slug. DM me for <laughs> pictures of my slugs. Oh no! Um, what about that's why his eyebrows furry? We like that oh, slug remnant. Actually, there's some there's uh, a podcast fan. I sorry, I can't remember his name. Oh my god! Keeps messaging me asking me for dick pics. What like, about but it's relentless. Nothing what about only fans? You almost give up. You, know, I can see why like people send nudes is because they just give in. So he fully he he just I'm just stopped. like He will not And every time like I, I start off with like Haha And then like sorry And then like I'm scared And then I'm like No leave me alone And then it's just Come on man Just you show me yours Or show me mine Yeah show me bo- Show me boobs <laughs> 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 What right. about Okay Like recently You had like You put in the group chat Some weird messages You've been getting Yeah what the f- Yeah Fine! <laughs> 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 Yeah what's going on there that's clearly your no, fault. No, that's not us. See it on the story. I just wondered if, oh, maybe like people are going because people go through the old podcasts, and so every now and then I get a fart or I get like a, you know, or a, it's, oh, it's yeah. Matt's birthday. See, that's what would happen to fucking box boy. I bet. He'd yeah, still get <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I got a random DM from him Like a year after we did that episode He's like can you guys stop talking about me on your podcast And I was like man we haven't spoken about you for like a year <laughs> And then I realised that it's new fans Going back and listening and to those episodes yeah, yeah leave him alone Leave everyone that we've said yeah, yeah, yeah. We, weren't, we weren't right Yeah we did a season. lot of lot too much alcohol I, was, I think it was even second season But You've sent stuff yeah, before, like yeah. send Matt Brown the worst videos ever. You've done it multiple times. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's fine for your psyche. Like it just every now and just then. Just don't watch them. I yeah. can't help it. Every now and then you get this video and you're like, oh, that's definitely from another country. And you just, you can't help but open You've it. you witness a murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sick cheeky. Oh. Anyway, <clears throat> diary entry. <laughs> All right, this is one of my diary entries. I found it, um, blah, 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 in my mum's wallet. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't know, blah, blah, blah. All right, it's just a random diary entry. All right, here we go. Entry number 769 million, 537,471.
Don't. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> don't. Anyway, sorry. Don't feed into it, Matt. <laughs> you really hurt. Like, yeah, you really hurt no, my feelings. Yeah, sorry. Don't. Yeah, nothing. Don't talk. Sorry. Don't. Don't count like that. <laughs> He's turned on me. <laughs> don't count like that. Sorry. Today I went. Today I went to the beach with my only friend Scalp. <laughs> Scalp doesn't speak English, so we just like to sit and look. We went into the water and splashed around. Not too deep though, because that's dangerous. The sun was hot, and we didn't have sunscreen. I went to the lifeguard and asked for some sunscreen. The lifeguard said yes and told me and Scalp to come into the lifeguard tower. He got the sunscreen and started touching our chests. I said that's enough, but he said he needs to do my back. He turned me around and started on my back. I got scared and ran out of the lifeguard tower. Scalp was still in there and I waited <laughs> for him outside. I waited for 20 minutes and then Scalp came out covered in sunscreen. Scalp looked different, but he didn't say anything. Scalp didn't want to play on the beach anymore, so we went home. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> I'm laughing at the name, Scalp. That's what that <laughs> is. That's my friend called Scalp. Yeah, I think it was like Russian or something. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, man! Okay, I regret telling you not to talk like that with the number thing. Yeah, now you know why. Sorry, why German numbers are so harsh? It's because the world is harsh, man. Yeah, especially for scouts. That's just a. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, yeah. I know. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, guys, it's now time for Mishael's Bible. And here's Beezus now, and he's so wise and strong and powerful. And here we go, everybody. Get ready to open your ear fucking hole and get some wisdom shoved down it by hips. This is chapter <laughs> Things That Are Shit, part two. <laughs> no, I don't want to hear it. Downtown Abbey. Yeah, okay. Bathurst. Yep. Traffic lights. Yeah, okay. The show, The Project. <laughs> Posh people. Stairs. <laughs> pronouns. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Checkers. Fluoride. Smart cars. Seafood. <laughs> yeah, I fucking agree with all of them. <laughs> Yes. I thought you were going to list off some of my favorite movies. No, no, no. I didn't even say movies. Star Wars. I had a look at your movies again, but. You're separating them into like categories now of things. Yeah. <clears throat> Something. This year, a new chapter. It's just a new chapter, Matt. So. I do math. Would you watch all <laughs> the Star Wars with me? Yes. Really? I'll have to think about it. If it's worth it. All right, guys. <sighs> It's time. Oh, here we go. For Matt Brown's <laughs> dirty, dirty black book, where he has written in great detail about all his sexual experiences from when he was just an egg to now. 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 <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Here it is. Save a bit. All right, here we go. This is where I'm up to. Up oh, to. Okay. All right, next week's the finale, by the way. So this yeah, is crazy. Couldn't come soon. But we did realize um, that the, pe the people at the finale won't have heard this episode yet. So we, let's just hope that the black book doesn't add to the storyline. You know what I mean? Because they won't have heard it yet. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully it's just like a random one. Is it? Well, you'll have to read and find right. out. Okay, so it's not question. Sorry. Uh, uh, have number 72. I was playing with my Barbies on a lazy Sunday afternoon. I would make them have arguments with each other. And then I would punish them, punish them for their arguments by melting them down to liquid and funneling them up my ass. <laughs> oh, how I love my Barbies. I lay down on my back and let my body relax. 
Soon I will have to find Queston and kill him once and for all. But today, I relax. <laughs> uh, I realized I was feeling a bit horny when my nipples started to swell. Hmm, perhaps a cheeky little hooker will curb my urges. A dirty, dirty prostitute. I pull my phone out. Hey Siri, call Walter. Calling Walter. <laughs> <laughs> the phone rings and Walter answers. Hello? Walter, it's me. Come around, right now. <sighs> Hang on, sweetheart. I'll be over after me cigarette. I get off the phone and spread margarine over my hairy chest. <laughs> the margarine melts over my nipples, and I chuckle as the melted margarine sizzles away. I hear a car parking outside. Walter is here. I beat her to my front door and open it before she can knock. She's the same old Walter. She looked like she'd been dragged along behind a horse for the last ten years, and her long gold hair was thinning on top so I could easily see her scalp. She was still very obese and had cigarette burns all over her arms. She was loudly chewing gum and wearing a small red boob tube and a short denim skirt. Her thick cellulite riddled legs shook with every step. Walter was just her fake prostitute name, of course. She spat out the gum. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I let her in and catch a whiff of her scent as she passes me. She smelt of abortion clinic disinfectant and maggots. We make our way to the bedroom and Walter lifts her skirt. I remove my pants and shirt and waste no time. I push Walter and she falls on the bed. She lays on her fat back and spreads her legs for me. I wrap my hand around my flaccid cock and balls and then stuff my fist up Walter. She barely even stirs as I'm probably her 15th client of the day. I release my junk whilst inside of her and wait to get hard. Walter stares blankly up at the, up at the ceiling. I fiddle with her top and pull a tit out. Then I start getting hard. I feel Walter's face and, and touch her skin, and it's as rough as tree bark. She looks at me, and I gently start thrusting. How you been? All right? I've been well, Walter. How about you? How are the kids? Yeah, not bad. Kids are all right. I can't find one of them. That's enough small talk now, Walter. Walter nods and lights up a cigarette. I flip Walter on her stomach and have a smash from behind. <laughs> I stab my cock through her hairy cheeks and bury it deep. I feel Walter press back against me. Oh, that's it, Maddie. Let me have it. I start fucking hard and fast. Faster and faster. Her ass cheeks slap against my thighs. I grab a fistful of her back fat as my cock and balls solidify while I mince. Filthy hot magma spills into my sweet, sweet Walter. <laughs> my body weakens and I fall to the side. Do you want to smack? Get out, Walter. <laughs> Walter pulls up her skirt. See, I said get out, Walter. <laughs> I hear Walter close the door behind her and smile as my body relaxes. Tomorrow, I will find and kill Queston. <laughs> I can't believe Walter. Walter just definitely does not sound female. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, he's fem he's female. That is. What is a woman? That was so good. Man. That's that was fucked, man. <laughs> you said once Walter's finished, you just want Walter out. Yeah, it's all... It's exciting when he's on his way, but once he's once you're done, you want him fucking out the door. See, so you say you saying he's a man? I don't know. <laughs> he's both. All right, guys, it's time for our new segment brought to you by Mother Energy Drink. All right, they have made it possible for us to call you guys and give someone $500 every single episode. That's Mother Energy Drink doing that, okay? So what we're going to do now, my, Michael, me and Matt are going to tell you guys what our what our truth or lie is for the day. All right? Oh, we're not going to tell you which one is the true one, and we're not going to tell you which one are the two lies. Then we're going to call some of you got cunts that sent us your phone numbers, and if you can guess it correctly, you win the $500. We thought we'd pay it forward with the brand deal. Do you understand? Help, help. So drink mother. Drink mother. Mother, Drink mother, mama. mother. Also, before we get into this, can everyone please give us a five-star review on Spotify and like yeah. and subscribe. Don't worry so much about the commenting now. If you could just like and then subscribe and mm. also five-star reviews on Spotify. We're at 1.4K now. 
Very That's yummy. Fucking hot. Yeah, dude. It's not. While we're on the bad. subject of stars. Give it to the car. <laughs> what the fuck was that? It's just yeah. Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, we were contemplating going into the zoo, um, the podcast awards this year. Oh yeah, but we haven't done it. Yeah, um, I right. mean, you know, nothing's stopping anyone from voting, but we're not campaigning for it this year as much as yeah, we we're not pushing as hard. Just fucking yeah. next year, I think when we come back bigger and better than ever. Next year, we'll give it a run for its money. How's yeah. that? If you want to vote for us, that'd be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It's Australian it's, Podcast Awards. Like, I don't even think it's that big a competition yet. It's not. It's getting bigger. It's getting funner. Um, but yeah. But anyway, next mother. Next year. All right. Mother. So vote for us. Drink. All right. So now we're going to call you guys. Um, wait up. What's the fucking lies? The things that we had? We got to read them each first. All right, so this is going to be... We're each going to read out now our lie or truth. Okay, we're not going to tell you which one's which. Hang on, let me find it. So mine is that my dad was a professional squash player. Okay, that's mine. Mine is that I saw a body bleed out in Thailand. And Matt's? Mine is... <laughs> Wait, do I... <laughs> Come on, no, 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 no. Just this, read what it is. He's eaten an entire <laughs> hay bale in the 1970s before. <laughs> Say it again or what? <laughs> he's eaten an entire hay bale in the 1970s before. <laughs> okay, so that's his. Is that a truth or a lie? Has Matt eaten an entire hay bale in the 1970s? What the right. fuck? Are you, <laughs> what do you mean, Matt? Come on, play along. You got to yeah, you got to act it so they guess it wrong, so we don't give them yeah, money. Because we each have to tell them that. All right, here we go. Now, right. Aren't we doing a fucked up lie here? Oh yeah, that's right. We're going to get our lying segment done here as well. And and as soon as someone answers, say you've won the five hundred dollars. You've won the five hundred dollars. And then say no, sorry, we're lying to you, but. You have a chance. Now you have a chance at winning it. Fuck, is that evil? So it's mean, but then also they get a chance at winning it. So not really. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm scared. You should be scared, mate. Right. This could go very wrong. Don't Fuck. you understand that? I I'm going like to put my phone here. on silent. I feel like someone's here, Matt said. I'm getting really anxious. There's <laughs> just a rapist in his bedroom. Um, oh, man. The 1970s. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, Matt, come on. Do you want another chili? Yeah. All right, here we go. We're go calling, on. we're calling, we're calling. This guy is Br Brenton. Okay, this is Brenton. Where's the sound? Oh, there it is. Ooh. Hello? Brenton. Oh my God. Brenton, Brenton you have won five, Brenton, you, you have won just won $500, dude. You won 500 bucks, my friend. He did it, dude. He did it. <laughs> no fucking way. No, dude, we're lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Brenton, but, but we've got an opportunity yeah, for you. But Brenton, you are in with a chance to win the $500, okay? So, Mike, okay, okay, so Michael, okay. Michael, me and Matt now are going to tell you our uh, lies or truths. And you have to guess which one of us is the truth. All right. So you're looking Only for the truth. truth. All right, Michael. Okay, okay. Michael, what's yours? Go ahead. Okay. I saw a body bleed out in Thailand. Okay. So that's Michael's. This is Die. He died. Um, this is mine. My father is a professional squash player. And Matt? Matt, talk. Come on. I fucking forgot. Oh, my God, Matt. Oh, oh, my fucking God. Read it right there. He's eaten an entire hay bale in the 1970s. So, Matt, he's, he's eaten an entire hay bale during the <laughs> 1970s. All right, so which one of those is the truth out of us three? Michael's is definitely the truth. Oh! He's got it! He did it! did it! So Holy now shit. you have really won $500 and we just completed our lying segment. That is outstanding. Fuck off. That was Dude, double. You fucking that did was it, some man. double trouble. You fucking did it. I hope it's this easy every week. Maybe we should tell people to be prepared. That was very good. I can't unlike, believe it. Unlike me. He knows. Do you, know, do, you know what, what, do you know why I knew that? 
Well, what, does he listen? Do you, you listen to the podcast? Because I listen, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. exactly right. That's what we're going to do. Good. We're going we're gonna to reward the podcast yeah. listeners. Yeah. What's Marley go- and Marley. Yeah, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi. No way. Yeah, absolutely. We're really okay, real. Mate. Brenton's just won $500. I just won $500. And he won a car. He's won a car too. Fuck off. <laughs> Shut up. Stop <laughs> lying to him. You can buy a car or get finance on a car. fucking dollars. Bullshit. Well done, Brenton. And well done, fam. What are you going to spend the money on? Uh, I'm going to probably buy a bag. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> so have a bag on us. Oh, oh. oh man, lovely to meet you. <laughs> we'll fucking enjoy your bag, brother. Thanks, guys. See you, dude. <laughs> see you, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> we see, help. Yeah. See, now we did the lying segment, and you feel ba- you feel good, mate. Oh, <laughs> dude, I have to apologize to everyone. I forgot my lie because <laughs> I was so out of it. Oh, I man. froze. Oh, I didn't oh, realize that. Uh, I Remind me to transfer that at the end of this. Yeah, that was very, very fuck me. Thank you to mother. Yeah, that. thank you mother. And mother energy drink, guys. That's what we're going to be doing every week. I like that a lot more. That yeah, segment. that's so much that fun. That was way more fun. Everyone's really excited yeah. and <laughs> and yours was like uh, like we'll, yeah, very We'll start good. lying to them like bigger and bigger like we'll say they've got a trip away and shit like mm. <laughs> or yeah. like they want a house. We're out the front. <laughs> oh. ate a whole bale of hay in the 1970s. I know. Oh, fucking that hell, Matt. So very good, good Matt. Very so well good. written. Shut up. I write my own lies from oh, now on. All right, guys, don't forget to give a five-star Spotify mm. review, all right? We love our reviews, don't we, lads? Mm. We absolutely love our reviews, it don't helps. we? It all helps. Yeah. Anyway, let's move right along, shall we? Yeah. What else have we got, eh? Hey? This is crazy. Questions? If we're doing questions, I'm getting high. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to have a quick bong break and get ripped off. And we're back. All right. The last comment of the week of the season. Thank fucking God. I won't be, I'll, I'll be so happy to see the back of that shit segment. <laughs> eh? <laughs> we're going to cut your name down so and good. put it on a board. And then we're going to pick one and we'll play it at the season finale. So you will see it next week who, who wins the comment competition. So make sure it, the comments of the week, people. And just if you've ever commented on this season, Make sure you watch the finale to see if it's you because we're worried that it's going to be some random one-off person who's fucking commenting oh. at the beginning of the year and then doesn't watch. No, nah, I figured it out. So we're going to pick like six winners just in case there's five people who can't. What, I've, I've figured it out. We um we draw the winner before the, the big one so we know who it is and we we say the winner when we're but there. But what if they're not real anymore? They're dead or something? So we'll, we'll communicate with them before we go live. Yeah, yeah, we pre-record that that whole yeah, yeah. comment competition yeah, sorry. thing. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, so if you want anyway. us to... Uh, so Matt's about to pick a comment for the comment of the week board, and then we're going to answer your questions. If you'd like us to answer your question, comment on the Muddy Michael Fully Actual YouTube <sighs> channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So after you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to answer. <laughs> Look at Matt sitting up straight. I want to try it. He's trying to impress his husband. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wallace? Wallace? Was Walter. Walter. <laughs> and he's my prostitute, not my husband. No, it's a she. Oh, Wallace. Sorry. Sorry. I fucking loved Wallace. All right, All right Connor, cut, cut this back in and make sure you cut, cut that, please. please. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should leave that in. <laughs> yeah, cut everything, but leave that bit in. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Comment of the week went to Peter Hunt. Um, I really, oh, sorry. <coughs> <laughs> sorry. Policeman. Um, That's sorry. Policeman. Imagine if that was their new uniform. How little air people would respect them. <laughs> the cop tried to demand your respect and brandy you wearing. <laughs> Equality. Equality. <laughs> um, that is fucking disgusting what you're wearing, Matt. <laughs> I like oh, it. Yeah, I guess I look pretty fucked too, don't Sorry. I? You look um, like a, like Merman. Aladdin's shit brother. Merman. The little vest. Oh, yeah, wow. No, you look like a... 
You know Aladdin? Yeah, I do know Aladdin. Sorry. He swiddled me one night. <sighs> All right. Comment of the week went to Peter Hunt. Um, and his comment was highly liked. And it was... I really hope Matt finds love and halves it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you will have. And that was comment of the week. It's real love. We're going to have to get a bed for next season. We should get Why? beds. Oh, I'd Comfy love to lie be. down. And then you Do I get a bed? <laughs> it's real love. Yeah, bed's not a bad idea. And then we do the podcast in bed. Oh, we'd be so relaxed. Oh, but then no. I'd spoon mad. I'd get under the covers and make funny sounds. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. It'd be so hectic. I don't want you guys to see my face sometimes. Nah. <laughs> We're just saying things. I'm nah. not sure about it. <laughs> <laughs> I get insecure about you'll, things sometimes, so I don't say it. You guys will fart and then you'll hold me under the covers. It'll be horrible. Well, I think we'll kiss a lot too. <laughs> Lots of kissing. And then you'd fucking spill so much shit through it and you never clean Peter it. Peter Hunt, you're in the running to win a thousand dollars. Hasn't he already won like ten of them? It'd be a stain. He's <laughs> like bet. got like a twenty percent chance. Yeah, holy know. shit. I've heard that name before. <laughs> oh, he's uh, uh, he comments a lot, gets a lot of comments in. So. <laughs> all right. Um no, all right. Good. Um all right, top question. Top question uh, went to Matt Brown's dirty Dorito fingers. Oh. Fucking hell. <laughs> And the question is, um, has there ever been a time when either of you have taken a prank too far that has created an awkward friendship, not for you guys, but for like other people? Yeah. So have you ever done a prank or a video, created something awkward uh, between uh, someone? Yeah, out? 100%. There's oh, been many times, times, especially when we were younger, that'd be, we'd just take it too far and break something or be really destructive at a friend's <laughs> house. And then they'd be like... Obviously, would be annoyed at that. We're a bit like that on Saturday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And exactly was, right. We we I regressed. The, I'm the awkward friend. We went back. <laughs> yeah, and there's just an overriding tension of like, oh god, like it's just like they're too much. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, there's been plenty of that. What else? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I, saw that coming. <laughs> I think I laughed because yeah, I, I guess- could see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Fucking Peter Hunt's back already. <laughs> fuck Peter. You're getting in. Fuck Peter. Yeah. What kind of directions are you giving out? <laughs> um, oh no oh, This is going to be a tough question Time. Time. All right. Uh, what is the most requested video idea you get from your members um, You laugh you lose t- three It's up there It's a website video um, oh, This one's a bit dark I oh, we, the, we, we, we often get a lot of requests to streak uh, sporting events The finals of them I, f- I can't remember the question. <laughs> All right, we'll move on. <laughs> fucking hell. All right, next and question. Like that. Next question. Oh, no, the most requested is me cutting his fucking hair again. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, there's a question about that in the questions. See? Come on. <laughs> Let me do clearly. Eh? <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, oh, this is no. a dark one. Bullshit. Uh, no, nah, not really. Um, it's uh, from Jock Van Kempen. Cool. Depending where his mate is from. Um, what advice would you give to someone who can't work out what they want in life and what career path to take? Keep trying Michael? heaps of different things. I reckon like... Just keep trying. And you, there's always something you like that you don't think is even possible to make a career from. I like, watched oh, Forrest Gump the other day. Yeah. Do you just go for it instead of running? Just walk for like ages. Yeah, if you just continually walk... <laughs> yeah. You probably will, yeah. Get somewhere one day. I reckon everyone, if you don't know what to and do, you just be start called, walking. It's be called the walker and you just walk around everywhere. And if anyone talks to you, you scream <laughs> you as say, loudly yeah, you, as you can. You scream. I'm on forest. fire. Yeah. I'm on fire. You scream that and then you just keep walking. And that your name's Forrest Gump. And then they'll start calling you Fire Walker. <laughs> and that's what we are. Fire Forests. 
Sorry. Um, next question is from Harvey. Uh, what was Michael like immediately after the human <coughs> skill tester video ended? Oh, yeah. He was all right, I think. He just had a bit of cow shit on him. and Yeah, I've blocked that out. It's quite <laughs> traumatic looking back. I swear, yeah. The oh. worst part was getting dragged. You don't realize all the rocks that you sort of go over and shit. It's the most excruciating pain. <laughs> oh, man. Very good. <laughs> it's good conditioning. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh Matt's and the palm his- tree sucked because you go through the leaves and stuff. Look at Matt; he's not. He's we're not being very cliche <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! All right, uh, Nico JC <laughs> and Mister Whistler forty five <laughs> asked pretty much the same question. So, um, uh, thank one- you. <laughs> oh, actually. Sorry. Ashley. 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 Ashley's asked. It was actually someone else that asked the question. <laughs> I accidentally merged two together. Where Ashley? So um I'll miss the whistle of 45 and some <laughs> and someone else. Um a lot of people keep asking, are we gonna stream the live show? We're not gonna stream the live show, it's just gonna be a nah. normal episode. No, nah, <laughs> not gonna do it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll just be a normal episode you can see the next week. Nah, not yeah. gonna do it. <laughs> so you won't you're not, you know, apart from the live part and going out with us after, you're not missing out on that much. Sorry. 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 Um uh, so Nico JC, he actually asked, um, and I've changed it just a little bit, but he said, um, are you boys looking forward to the day that your kids get curious and check out the website? Oh yeah. I've thought about this with Esty. Yeah. I, I, I think like, if she, will she be embarrassed when she's in like high school? Fucking A. You reckon? Yep. She'll <laughs> quit. No. Cause look at all the jackass no. boys. They're like, they're it's kids fine. of gods. We made wine from our ass the other day. <laughs> and then tasted it, Matt. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a good question. I, I do worry about that sometimes. But like, you know, it's, I just, I'll sit it down and try and explain that it's, it's comedy. It's um, subjective. You're and born. it's just us trying to make people laugh. Yeah, as I'll- long as the intentions are good, we're not... It's just, that's all we're doing, man. Just trying to make people laugh. So fucking... Just tell so, it. so go back to school and tell them to shut up and meet me under the bridge. <laughs> or you can just tell her that you were trying to fly. <sighs> That's what Mark is going to tell his future kids. He'll be in a fucking straight jacket in a hospital. <laughs> I was trying to fly. <laughs> <laughs> All they're showing him his videos of fucking oh. me shitting on him, <laughs> fucking shoving shit out of his heart and sculling cum and gullies on his fucking head. I was trying to fly. I was fly. trying to fly. <laughs> fly. <laughs> <laughs> Like it's oh. just made him go fucking crazy. Fucking <laughs> 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 nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh. <Dude. laughs> Ever since you put the glasses on, you look like a rapper now. <laughs> I feel like a rapper, like a lolly rapper. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Next question is from Jin. Oh. Um, question for the pog tires. How tall is Matt Brown? I always imagined him to be stout, rot- rotund man, <laughs> like a garden gnome with a snake the length of most men. But then I saw him in the Aliens vlog and he seems to be a tall boy. Please confirm. I'm about the same height nearly as the boys. Maybe they're a fraction taller than me. Yeah, I think we're well, like 6'3", like 6'1", or something. 6'2". There you go. 6'2". Yeah, so, so Matt's, Matt's quite tall. They got a He's bit of big. He's they a big, powerful, giant. I'm a forward. Scuttling around sideways. Man, I'd love to Scuttle, go. scuttle, scuttle. Back on the alien vlog. Let's do that again. Yeah, it was a lot of Will fun. Did you do that again? for a week? <laughs> oh, no way. I reckon <laughs> Matt, Matt would kill if himself. We, if we have a bit of comfort. If it was glamping? Yeah, if it was glamping. Yeah, but you can't be... destroy my glamp. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. See, that's, yeah, that's always a risk. <laughs> Something's going to get destroyed. Oh, the... <laughs> The fuck it, the, the the camping was chaos. One minute you're there and you've got a mattress, next minute you turn around and it's engulfed and all you see is black smoke in the sky and you're like, oh, what how how smoke that is? And then you realise it's covered the entire sky and you're like, I, I would have been terrified if that was daylight. 
Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, that, that fire really good, just got us going. The ashes oh, right. put remember like I a spent, year off our lives. Remember, I spent like two hundred dollars <throat> on fire starters and made that yeah, beer, put them all in at once. Yeah, I love starting big fires. <sighs> so fun. That's right. God, it's good. Something about it. I eh? used to like putting like bits of food at the top of like the structures you'd build. And then watching like the cheese slowly. Yeah, down. do you remember yeah. when we were throwing all the lollies in the fire? How interesting that was. Yeah, that was interesting. Oh, I miss your lolly fucking presentations. The Willy Wonka show. Yeah, the Willy Wonka show is one of the best. I wish you could film that and everyone would enjoy it, but they just, just it wouldn't be a good video. You just have to be part of it. Yeah, you got to be able to taste in that video. Sorry. <sighs> all right. Next question is from Roman Brisky. Very good. All right, it's for well, Michael. Well read. Question for Michael. Does Amber hate Star Wars? I think it's hilarious when you talk about how much you hate it. Oh, Star Wars now. I don't think she's a fan, no. I don't think she's a fan, but I, 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 would, I could see her watching it. Like no, out of curiosity. Reckon, yeah, I don't think so. Star yeah. Wars. No. But she likes films. Yeah. She? Yeah, but she's totally It's very like before. male she's film, not, isn't it? She wouldn't watch... <laughs> It's very she hasn't no. watched it. Like sh- like shooting in space and shit. I don't think girls No. Into it. It's a love story. Oh my god. It's a love story. What is it Come again? On. Star Trek? <laughs> Star Wars. Ugh. Star Wars a love story. It's, yeah, no, she wouldn't watch them. But like that's okay. That's good for you. Yeah. Mon doesn't watch them. If she turned around and said, Can we watch the first trilogy of Star Wars? What would you say? I just feel like, get me, let me get really, really high. <laughs> you can enjoy anything when you're really. Dude, really I think stoned. you love it stoned as no fuck. No way. The old one. I told you, Jabba the Hutt or the big fat thing. Yeah, dude, I reckon you'd love it's it. It's too old. It looks shit. Dude, you and the Ewoks would jam. I need like oh. better CGI. Yeah, I can't do old shit anymore either. I'm struggling with movies from the 90s now. Yeah, yeah, so you, the you people, the Titanic still that has kept its fucking shit. Like you look at that ship as it's sailing, and that was made yeah. in 1999. Maybe the digital T Ridge Master. No respect ones. for the art of film. <laughs> that was very good. And Leo and Rose, perfect. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, nineties movies are like. Would you ever watch the movie The Raising of the Titanic? Anyway, moving on. I have. Um, all right. So next question. Um, all right uh next question is from vy do you wish sometimes not being famous or not on social media and just enjoying life without the camera shooting you everywhere you go yeah sometimes but the good outweighs the bad with this life sometimes you wish it wasn't there but i'd prefer to have it and live this life than not have it it's been pretty flat eye yeah it's a it's a good life and the final question of the night comes from Romish Fernando. Romish Fernando. I think, depending where he's from. Or where she is from. Sorry. Why did you do that? Yeah. Sorry. Fucking hell, you still got a bit of a weekend, India. All right. Question is, will Michael cut his hair if his girlfriend says to do it? No. She'd never tell me to. Oh, his doubt. He's Mate. got doubt. He has no idea. Well, if no she's way. crying to do it, you came home. Please yep. get it off. Uh, Please. I just need you to be. Yeah, here. actually, I would. <laughs> really? Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. I That's it. Imagine, that was good. Yeah. Okay. That is the end <laughs> of questions. We're, we haven't been high on the that podcast. That questions. They haven't like, been high on the podcast for a while. So they're really like slow and super shit. anxiety. No, Every question, slow. they're panicking if they've given the right answer. So just. Well, yeah, we're overthinking like the things that we're saying. See? Chili, scared them. We need a chili. All right, I'm going to do a prank call now, all hey, right? Hey, hey. Oh, shit. Presents. Yeah, everyone, I we're going to have PO. We've got PO box first, so we're going to open the things that you send to us. If you want to send us anything, send it to PO box 256 Tagum 4018 Queensland, Australia. We open everything live. We don't know what's in these things. It could be a bomb. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> 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 that one is definitely anthrax. Oh, oh no! Oh, someone is going to send us a bomb one day, you know. Or anthrax. This looks dirty. Bang! Actually, oh, this man, feels like a bomb. Suck. It's warm. Oh, fuck! I hate opening them. <laughs> it's scary because we've been sent some 
fucked. Someone oh, said it's shit. a glitter bomb once, and that did. We are always on yeah. edge for PO. Well, I laugh. He opened him. Oh, boom! Right in his face. This has some mean words already written on it. Oh, it just it. says "fuck <laughs> you." Is it from fucking? So we're opening a, a little dude that has no dad. Parcel. It is. Oh no! It is. All right, we're opening a parcel. It's got a Whoa. lead. Right. Oh, use condom. Ah! Ah! Oh fuck! Ah! It's a used condom. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a god. Used condom. Oh. Scared the shit out oh, of me. Then, man. Holy shit! Oh, we just got oh, sent a used condom. Oh, that's so fucked. We just got sent a used condom. <laughs> I think it's for me. Fuck you, Matt Brown. <laughs> it says "fuck you, Matt Brown" and a used condom. Is that the um? Who do you think is that from? Fucking oh, the dude with no dad. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's yeah. the what was the enemy again? Yeah, Dakota. No, Dakota's cool. No, the code guy. The code guy. Yeah, yeah, the man with no dad. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He hasn't. We haven't had him around yeah, for a while. It's been good. What a way to come back onto the scene. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Was there anything else in there? Put or just put, gargle the cum to show to yeah, as a show of dominance. Yeah, okay. you sh- would you? Would you wear it? Wear what? The wear cum. the cum. cum. Is it actually? Is there cum in there? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck me. There it is, Matt Brown has it Inspecting in the package. Oh yeah, there's something in there. I reckon dangle it. <laughs> oh, there's a little hair too. No. That's a bit too much for the brown. This one's definitely a bomb. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That looks all right so far. What do we got here? We got the orig- Aboriginal flag stickers. We've got some cards. It's just like a little goodie bag full of stuff. We've got Looks like a some bracelet, a couple of bracelets. A little booklet? Pride. Well, oh, cheers, Paula, you bloody legend. Cheers, I think lady. You grinder, brother. Sorry, it's not. And a little notebook. It might be something else. I can't remember. Paula. Anyway, all right. That is the P.O. Box segment done. Now it's time for the prank call, everybody. Smack, huh? Come on. What kind of business? Speaking to bowling, how can I help you? Uh, hello, my name Arnold Fine. Uh, you have uh, bowling alley available uh, tomorrow night, uh, maybe uh, 7 uh, p.m.? Uh, let me just check for you. Okay, uh, you have look, okay? Yep, so it looks like we've got some lanes available tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Okay, um, I come uh, with my wife. Uh, she's sick. Uh, my wife is sick, okay? I uh, have a wheelchair for a wife. Uh, is that okay with a wheelchair? Yeah, so I can put you guys on lane one, which is right next to the wheelchair okay, ramp. Okay, okay. Uh, put us on uh, number one. Huh? And uh, then I have uh, two sun, two sun come, and yep. uh, we have uh, a pet pig, uh, not too big a pig, um, maybe 40, uh, 50 kilo, and um, he come uh, to look after wife, uh, like a surface pig. Sorry, what are you asking me for that one? Asking if uh, it okay we bring our little uh, surface pick, our family uh, pick. Okay, same size as a dog. Uh, very clean. Uh, clean, uh, not a mess. Huh? I uh, pay extra. Uh, yeah, that should be okay. Uh, okay. So if you come in uh, tomorrow and just let them know that, they can handle it with you, but that sounds like it'll be fine. Okay, so to confirm, I come tomorrow with wife and uh, two kids and a pet pig, and uh, we allowed to play lane one. I know they know same to me. Oh, you have pig? No, no, you cannot uh, bowl here now D- because uh, I cannot uh, go to the bowling, and uh, they say go away. Oh, you understand? You say yes now. It mean yes in the m- tomorrow night, huh? Oh, you said pet pig. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know what the hell you were saying. Yes, a pet pig. I say pig uh, four or five times. Pig, you know. Um, yeah, right. Uh, pet pig. Hello. Um, yeah, you can bring the pig, but you got to bring it. Uh, 
so we can make some bacon out of it. Is that all right? What do you say? Huh? Uh, you listen here, snack. Uh, you think uh, this funny? Uh, you make uh, uh, fun of uh, my pet pig, huh? You Australian, uh, you stupid, huh? You snack! You stupid snack in the grass, huh? I know where you are, bowling alley, okay? I come down without pick, and then we see who make bacon from who, huh? Uh, you fucking your wife, huh? Uh, you fucking your wife! That's what yeah, you bet. want, huh? Uh, I mean, bet. in my country, a pick come everywhere. They drive a bus. Uh, they drive train. Some customers. They, they some customers teach at university. Slack. Right. Bye. Slack. <laughs> I love aggressive Arnold Fry. <laughs> He went aggressive so quick. Dude, can we do one more? I can listen to that I'm all done. night. I am done like a oh, doorknob, babies. Can't have too much of a good thing. That was so, dude. Arnold, fine again. He needs to be. Dude, at he the was wedding. like, yeah, 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 right, yeah. Bring it in. <laughs> bring it in. Like, and then it wasn't until you like really break it down. He's like, oh, oh, you mean pig? <laughs> <laughs> oh, outstanding. Oh. Anyway, guys, <gasps> the next time you see us, it will be for the Live. season finale. And we'll Live! Wish us all the best in the comments. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll see you guys soon, okay? <laughs> Love you guys. And just remember that we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the fucking best. The five star review best. On Spotify, man. We're the best. Best. Shit, man. Look at that. I've got no hair. <laughs>